There's a lot of breaking news on a Thursday. Of course, yesterday, another school shooting, right as the 2024 year school year begins. It's uh, just horrifying to consider that the shooter allegedly was on the FBI's radar for over a year. That's an astounding story. Uh, again, a big FBI scandal, it appears. We'll tackle that. Last night, Trump was in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, for a, uh, a big uh, town hall because Kamala chickened out of the Fox News debate. She's off campaigning in, in a state so that she didn't have to deal with Trump on a debate stage. She's also already complaining about next week's debate, saying that she will be disadvantaged because the microphones will be muted when it's not their turn to speak. For the life of me, I don't understand her complaint on this. Listen, that, that, that advantage is Trump. That advantage goes to him. What, what, why does she want the microphones unmuted when the other person is speaking? I know she famously told, she famously told Mike Pence in, the, in her debate with him, I'm speaking, I'm, excuse me, I'm, which is real, real liking, real, real, makes her real likable, doesn't it? That's real endearing to hear her. Excuse me, I'm speaking. So evidently she wants to be able to do that, I guess, with Trump. If you have an idea why she wants the microphones unmuted when the other person is speaking, can you tell me what you think that that is, what that reason is? Because it makes no sense to me whatsoever. 800-655-MIKE, by the way, if you want to join us on a Thursday. Um, In a great mood, hope you are too. A lot of good things are happening politically. Um, The Harris-Waltz campaign continues to have a very bad month. Uh, Trump is widening in the polls. Don't look now. The media doesn't want to confirm it. I mean, they're reporting on it, but they don't really want to confirm what they're reporting. So I'll do it for them. Trump's lead is widening. The poly market polls, Nate Silver, 538. I saw one poll. He's got like a 98% chance of winning the electoral college. 98%. If the election were held today, according to the polls, Trump wins easily. That's a fact that the media does not want to tell you. Let me repeat it so you know that it's true. If the election were he- were held today, according to the polls, Trump wins easily. Maybe it all changes with the debate. It's coming up Tuesday night. we got a big debate watch party for you in Tampa Bay, and tickets are almost sold out. We're going to have door prizes we're giving away to people who are at the theater with us at the Studio Movie Grill, including a signed Trump baseball cap. That's right. A baseball cap signed by the man himself, the 45th president of the United States, one lucky attendee at our big debate watch party on September 10th, coming this Tuesday night, will get that baseball cap. Again, signed by the president of the United States, the 45th president, Donald Trump. It's a great-looking hat. We're going to have a bunch of great door prizes, too. All kinds of Trump memorabilia. We've got Trump golf balls we'll be giving away. So you don't want to miss out. It's going to take place at the Studio Movie Grill, and I really want a full house. So we're almost there. Go to TheAnswerTampa.com to order your tickets today. TheAnswerTampa.com and order your tickets. It's going to be held at the Studio Movie Grill. I'll be your host. I'll be doing some broadcasting. We'll be doing some on-site commentary and having a great time. That's this Tuesday night at the Studio Movie Grill in Seminole, Florida. If you'll be in or around Tampa Bay, come out and join us. Again, for tickets, go to TheAnswerTampa.com. They are almost gone. You don't want to miss out. TheAnswerTampa.com. TheAnswerTampa.com for tickets. See you Tuesday at the Studio Movie Grill. And again, a whole bunch of uh, terrific door prizes. That alone. That alone will be uh, pretty helpful. All right, let's dive in. I want to see, before I do anything, we'll talk about the school shooting. We're going to talk about Trump's rally. But here's the headline. Kamala accuses Trump of trying to muzzle her in TV debate. The Harris campaign is unhappy about the candidate's microphones being muted when it's not their turn to speak. I've got a simple question for you. What is she up to? What does she, why is she complaining about that? Ahmad is in Jacksonville, Florida. Hi, how are you, sir? Welcome to the show. Hey, Mike, how you doing? I'm good. Why does Kamala not want the mics muted when the other person, when Trump is speaking? What's that about? Well, yeah, um, thanks for taking my call. First, I want to say, I think, you know, I think it's pretty clear, Mike. Um, You know, to me, the left always uses these these rhetorics uh, and these, you know, these ways of speaking to kind of sway people. 
uh, getting close to the, the election time, and you still got that 15, 18 percent of people that are undecided. So what their strategy is clear to me is that she wants to be able to cut Trump off and to say these things that people are going to, you know, latch on to. And it's going to be, you know, those undecided people who, you know, sad to say probably aren't as educated or are a little unaware of what's but going is on. That, but, wait a minute, but is that, but is that, wait a minute, but is that appealing to people if she's interrupting him? You think that I works? I think that that's the world we live in now. I think so. I well, think that to say that uh, people uh, kind of gravitate towards that, you know, kind of thing. Maybe, maybe so. I don't know. It's weird. It's a strange d- request. Harris believes Trump. And, and and Trump is like, I don't care. Keep the mics on. Keep the mics off. But Kamala is into this whole thing about she's being muzzled. She's being disadvantaged. Uh, I mean, supposedly there's a letter that the Harris campaign wrote to ABC News that said, Vice President Harris, a former prosecutor, will be fundamentally disadvantaged by this format, which will serve to shield Trump from direct exchanges with the vice president. We suspect this is the primary reason for his campaign's insistence on muted microphones. You know, one of the most stunning moments in any debate in history is when Trump told Hillary, you'd be in jail. Remember that line? Well, if with the muted microphone rule, Trump wouldn't have gotten away with that. You realize that same moment's probably going to happen between Trump and Kamala. What is she up to? What in the world is she up to? Vince in Texas. Vince, what do you think is the reason behind this strange complaint she's got? Oh, she, you, you touched on it. She obviously wants to be able to assert herself and say, I'm speaking, I'm speaking again. Remember when she did that with Mike Pence, they made T-shirts up in the Democrat Party and sold them. Yeah, but, it, he, but, but, huge... but Trump can do that too, doesn't – isn't she intimidated by Trump being able to say you'd be in jail or the kind of things he did uh, with Hillary? No, it's a win-win for her. When she does it, she'll be praised, and when he does it, he'll be condemned. Well, that's it's, true. It's all now, about well, her yeah, face. yeah, now that's and true. I, now that's absolutely true. You got a point there. When she's obnoxious and interrupts and says, "I'm speaking, I'm speaking," uh, you know, let Mamala talk. <laughs> she'll be praised. When he does it, well, he'll be. In, it's like me interrupting people. I had an exchange yesterday with a uh, a listener who wrote an email to me about how often I interrupt callers which fascinates me. This ha- this has happened my whole career. It doesn't even bother me anymore, but I think I'll share with you that what the art of interrupting or not when you're a big mouth on uh, with a talk show. 14 past the hour, 800-655-MIKES, our number. We've got a lot to break down for you, including this awful school shooting in Georgia. We're diving in next. All right, 22 past the hour. Let's dive into all of this. Um, with the, I, I'm c- confused about... And Tracy was saying something about one of the debate rules is that the moderators are going to get to tell the audience what is being said off mic. The whole thing is already giving me a headache. ABC News says both Trump and Kamala agreed to the format back in May. Um, And now there's a, a big drama about the mics being muted. Kamala wants the mics left on. Trump. I don't think Trump cares one way or the other. It's his advantage. It's, it's to his advantage either way. Why do you suppose she wants the mics on? According to CNN, the the Harris campaign wrote a whiny letter to ABC News complaining that Trump is trying to muzzle her. And she will be at a fundamental disadvantage because, you see, she's a former prosecutor. And muting the mics, she says, will serve to shield Trump from direct exchanges. Let me get a bunch of calls in here. Uh, Greg's in Seminole, Florida, which is home of the Studio Movie Grill, where we're going to be Tuesday for the big debate watch party. Hey, Greg, why is she doing this? I believe she's doing this because she actually wants to muzzle Trump because the moment he starts to pinpoint her her deficiencies as a leader, she wants to cut him off as immature as she is, to stifle what he has to say. I think you're right on the money. That has to be the only reason. Nothing else makes sense. Let me keep going here. Let me get a bunch of voices. Bill in Pittsburgh. Hey, Bill. Hey, Mike. How you doing? Good. Thank you. I want to make two points if I could. Sure. I think she wants a mic on so that she can go Trump into saying something and to look bad. And my second point is, this is off topic, but the campaign ads... Why do they not play 
all day long swipe of the pen speech because I think it makes her look really bad. Well, that's a good. That's a good point, and that's the one where she she now people her defenders claim that's out of context. I don't think it is. Tim's in uh, Michigan. Hey Tim, what's up? Hey Mike. Hi. Um, you know my dad always taught me. You know, don't ever let your emotions run away without the benefit of intellect, which is what Kamala does. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, so there's no substance to the argument. So when you start raising your voices, you've got no substance. Right. He's trying to just throw him off, and there's no generally no facts or or anything in that when you start over talking people because it's pure emotion and it's pure stupidity. There's nothing behind it, and it's trying to anger your opponent yeah. to either A, trip up, or get off topic. Look, and that's let, what prosecutors do. They that, go after their witness. That, they go right for the jugular. That's what a prosecutor... You know, let's face it, Tim. This is one of the goofiest campaigns we've ever witnessed in the history of the America. She's done, she won't give an interview. She won't hold a press conference. She won't answer any questions. Tim Waltz runs from, Tim Waltz runs from from reporters. It's clearly a strategy that they're embarking on and you know why? Early voting's about to begin. They figure they can fool enough of the people for a long enough period of time they can run out the clock. I mean, well that's cuz the press is doing their campaigning for them. Right, because if the well but if the press had a shred of integrity, they'd say, "Wait a minute, what the heck are you doing? Wouldn't they be the yeah. ones offended in a normal situ in, in 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 you know, earth logic?" Well, if you were a real reporter like days gone by, yes, but now it's they're lost. They're a lost cause. They're corrupt as can be.